The video I posted earlier today hasn't been up very long at all. And my daughter calls me from Florida and she knows what's happened and she's offering her condolences. And Becca peeks her head in the bus and says, we got a phone call from the shelter and they have a dog there that fits Savannah's description. We know this because she called and described Savannah and asked if anybody had report, you know, brought her in or knew anything about it. Here we go. Animal shelter right there. Ran right in, jumped on, the, jumped on the couch, and went to bed. And then this morning, she opened the back door, she went out, um, went to the bathroom, came in, she fed her. I gave her a treat. You Thank know these you. people? You know these people? Is that your human? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call that lady back too, because she was worried about her. She never owned a dog. I don't know how she got so far away. Yeah, uh, I understand you guys are camped on the 62 on North. But yeah, she was. Modoc, on 62, Modoc Road, it's like the second right, but it's kind of way down, the second right in the area. And they're just chasing a rabbit or something. There you go. Happy ending. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys. You have got to be freaking kidding me. I know this dog and I know that under her own volition, she's coming back to the bus. And so I'm thinking to myself, she's either been, you know, kind of taken and she doesn't have free will or the more, the much more plausible thing was that uh, nature got her. There's kind of, there's, we're not far from the Colorado River and it's not far, fa in fact, as I was walking looking for her, I saw coyote sign and I just, she was just right with us. And so the story really doesn't add up on how she got separated from us, but she's back and <laughs> I've got her now on this cable and she prefers to be in the sun than in the shade here's some takeaways uh a good friend has offered to get her a google fi collar i'm gonna look into that i'm gonna contact google fi it's a something fi i'm gonna contact them and see if uh they would want a shout out on my channel to work with me and if I don't get a response from them, I may go ahead and take her up on it and have a GPS on her. So the GPS would at least uh, help me to locate her. Uh, another big takeaway is that um, she's got a name tag on her collar, sewn into her collar. And evidently the person that she was in a house didn't know to read it and call my number. Uh, we got a call from the shelter on Becca's phone because Becca called the shelters for me and described her and asked if anybody had seen her. And when some, uh, when a dog came in that met that description, they called Becca's phone. So even the professional, uh, shelter person, the, the dog, I don't know the term, but dog catcher didn't n think to see, look, I'll show you. If we go here, Savannah, you're not in trouble. Um, 
see, you've got it there. And then if I keep spinning it, there's her phone number, my phone number on there. So I have a name tag somewhere that I just was looking for and can't find. I'll make another, I'll go have another one made if I have to. But one of the takeaways is people don't think to look on the collar itself or I would have gotten her. So in my mind, I'm thinking her name, my, her name's on the collar. It, she would come back if she was under her own, uh, you know, power. I'm just thrilled that she's back. What, give me your thoughts on, this is, this dog is an outdoorsman. <laughs> you know, you got Gus over here. He's not, he put him on a lead. It doesn't really matter to him one way or the other, but Savannah likes to go around and dig in the little rodent holes around the creosote bushes. And when we go for a walk, she just perks right up and comes to life. 10 years we've done this and I literally thought that, that she was gone. <laughs> Tell me what your thoughts are. Do you let a dog be free? Uh, I know that this is going to be, a, a, could, could be a polarizing topic. Some people are staunchly one way or the other, but uh, here close to the river, for sure she's going to go on the lead, but she's going to be like, man, what are you doing to me? If this became the norm. Good girl. All right, thank you for all the well wishes when we thought that she was gone. I wanted to get this up quick uh, to show you that it went the other way. Thank goodness. And give me your comments on the notes. Do you let a dog be free? Uh, and she's, a, she's healthy. I was mentioning she's 14. She hasn't missed a step. She likes to run every opportunity she gets. She, doesn't, she hasn't acted any kind of an age yet. I'm just, uh, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone, both with what's happened to the channel over the last year and, and fighting to get that turned around. And, um, and then this happened with her. I just felt like I was in the twilight zone. So I'm just thrilled to get her back. Thanks for all the well wishes. I've got some videos coming soon that uh, should be helpful. Live in the van lifestyle and I'll uh, do vlog stuff like this too. All right, hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you for all the support. I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate having you guys. See ya.